We've all heard them and know what they mean, but where do they come from? Here are three more origins of common sayings. Number one, push the envelope to test known limits. This has nothing to do with mail or letters. It has to do with math and aerospace science. Yay! This is the envelope, an intersection of tangents. Psh, I don't know either. Starting during World War II, pilots and aerospace engineers started referring to all the tangents and capabilities of flight, airspeed, altitude, etc., collectively known as the flight envelope. Test pilots looking to increase and test a plane's capabilities would, yep, push beyond that envelope. Feel smart now? Number two, scapegoat. To be blamed for other people's problems. This word is a straight up mistake. A 1530 mistranslation of the Bible. In one Yom Kippur ritual, a goat named after the fallen angel Azazel would be symbolically burdened with all of the problems of the village and cast out. Unfortunately, the translator misread the name Azazel as the goat that scapes, as in escaped. The word scapegoat, however, never did escape us. Number three, saved by the bell. To be saved at the last minute. No, your favorite childhood drama didn't come up with it. And it doesn't refer to bells placed in graves as a safety measure in case someone was accidentally buried alive. That's an urban legend. It's just good old 19th century boxing slang. Guys getting clobbered sometimes escaped a total knockout by making it to the end of a round, signaled, of course, by the ringing of a bell. Got a common saying you'd like to know about? Let us know in the comments and make sure to go to Rated Red's YouTube channel and hit subscribe to see more videos. I'm Courtney Freeman.